There is a clear message that is coming through. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Called the basket of deplorables. They're killing people. I mean, it really, they really, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. They're unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. Their whole purpose throughout history has been to teach a small number of people how to become adept at controlling everyone else. Their goal is to destroy all existing religions, save theirs, all existing governments, save theirs, and shackle the mob in a system of eternal oppressive debt chained to a computer for the rest of their life in a propagandized world to make them believe that they are happy in this system. Now, do you think they're succeeding? Yes, yes. Haven't I described to you just now exactly what is going on in the world today? Yes, they're succeeding. They're succeeding because the American people don't understand their enemy. They don't even know what's happening. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. That's why you're losing the war. And don't tell me you're not, because I'm in a place of great knowledge about who's winning and who's losing this war. And I can assure you, you're losing the war. This country was founded by dangerous men. Amen. And the moment the people in this country cease to be dangerous men, it's going to be the day we cease to have a country. And I'm going to tell you right now, unless we can be successful in creating a real free press where the American people get different viewpoints other than those expressed in the establishment controlled media, there's going to be a civil war in this country and it's going to come soon. The only thing that can stop it is by waking up vast amounts of sleeping people. Sheeple is what they are. They are following the Judas goat right into the shearing pens and from there they will go to the slaughter and they will not know that anything is wrong until they smell the blood of the sheeple in front of them. For yourself. Question authority. Think for yourself. Question authority. Throughout human history, as our species has faced the frightening, terrorizing fact that we do not know who we are or where we're going in this ocean of chaos it has been the authorities, the political, the religious, the educational authorities who attempted to comfort us by giving us order, rules, regulations, informing, forming in our minds their view of reality. To think for yourself, you must question authority and learn how to put yourself in a state of vulnerable, open-mindedness, chaotic, confused vulnerability to inform yourself. Think for yourself, for yourself, for yourself. Question authority. Question authority. Question authority. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. Question authority. They're killing people. I mean, it really, they are, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. The only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. The U.S. Surgeon General issued the first health advisory of the Biden administration. Dr. Vivek Murthy is calling for a war against COVID misinformation with the Delta variant on the rise. Health experts blame the Delta variant, but also misinformation about the vaccine 
and the virus. The U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek Murthy, is appealing to the nation to fight misinformation about COVID-19 and vaccines. At the White House today, he charged that bogus online claims are feeding vaccine resistance. And he said social media companies must do more. We are asking them to step up. We know they have taken some steps to address misinformation, but much, much more has to be done. And we can't wait longer for them to take aggressive action because it's costing people their lives. Today, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation is announcing a $13.5 million commitment to counter health misinformation. The Digital Public Library of America is announcing that they will convene a set of librarians, scholars, journalists, and civic leaders to confront health misinformation together. Fourth, we are saying we expect more from our technology companies. We're asking them to operate with greater transparency and accountability. We're asking them to monitor misinformation more closely. We're asking them to consistently take action against misinformation super spreaders on their platforms. Um, we will share with you the most up-to-date information daily. You can trust us as a source of that information. You can trust us as a source of that information. Uh, you can also trust the Director General of Health and the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health. For that information, do feel free to visit at any time to clarify any rumour you may hear, covid19.govt.nz. Otherwise, dismiss anything else. Dismiss anything else. Dismiss anything else. We will continue to be your single source of truth. We will provide information frequently. We will share everything we can, uh, everything you are, else you see, um, a grain of salt. Uh, and so I really ask people to focus. The most egregious example of that appears to be this. of deplorables there is a clear message that is coming through this is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated what's your message to platforms like facebook they're killing people i mean it really they are, look the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated and that's and they're, and they're killing people that, uh, yeah that's i mean that's 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 the reality of it it is though. If it got to that point, because just like I like I was saying, when eighty percent, when eighty percent of all people have been either manipulated or tricked or talked into taking the vaccine, the next stage is going to be to make the rest of us look like like we're going to be uh, the leprosy. Domestic terror. Domestic terror. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna treat us like we got AIDS or something. <laughs> and it's already going around. There's already people out here and they're saying, OK, well, yeah, but it's going to be you guys that don't take the fucking vaccine that's going to create the new strain that ain't going to work for us that have the vaccine. Holy how shit. Do argue, how do you argue against that? Yo, Rich, you made me think of something. I think the airlines might change, too, because they might say like niggas with vax might have to pay more or they got to get on this type of airline and niggas that's vax, they got to take that airline. Yo. I think some shit about to change. Oh, some real yeah. shit. A community rates low on an information scale when the press, radio, and other channels of communication are controlled by only a few people and when citizens have to accept what they're told. In communities of this kind, despotism stands a good chance. See how community trains its teachers. Bear this in mind. Young people cannot be trusted to form their own opinion. This business about open-mindedness is nonsense. It's a waste of time trying to teach students who think for themselves. It's our job to tell them.
And when teachers put such training into practice, despotism stands a good chance. These children are being taught to accept uncritically whatever they're told. Questions are not encouraged. How can you ask such a question? Have you got a textbook? Yes, ma'am. Does it say here that our law courts are always just? Yes, ma'am. Then how dare you question the fact? Sit down. And so we aren't surprised when... But it must be true. I saw it in this book right here. And if books and newspapers and the radio are efficiently controlled, the people will read and accept exactly what the few in control want them to.